Okay, so in this video, we will discuss an example of how to solve system of linear equation with three variable using inverse matrix method. Alright, so we look at this example. Okay, solve the following equation by using the inverse matrix method. So we have this three linear equation. We have 3x plus y plus 2z equals to 11. 3x plus 2y plus 2z equals to 10. x plus z equals to 5. Alright, so we're going to solve this that's mean we want to find the value of x the value of y and the value of z so that's mean by solve so how are we going to find the value of x y and z so we're going to use the inverse matrix all right so the first step first step is to form a matrix equation all right so how are we going to form matrix equation it must be in the form of a x equals to b all right so first we need to form this matrix this matrix is question first all right so how are we going to form that matrix equation all right it's very easy the first one is we're going to write the matrix a okay so matrix a is just the coefficient for x y and z and we must uh, rearrange it in a corresponding arrangement all right so first we're going to take the first equation first all right so the coefficient for x is 3 coefficient for y is 1 and the coefficient for z is 2 so we have uh, 3 1 2 for the first equation for the second equation the coefficient for x is 3 coefficient of x is 3 and then the coefficient of y is 2 coefficient for z is 2 and for the third equation, the coefficient of x is 1. Nothing's there means 1. The coefficient of y, because there are no y term here, that's mean 0. For y is 0 and for z is 1 because it's only z here. Alright, so this is A. This is for matrix A. And now is for matrix X. So matrix X is our unknown which is X, Y and z and equals to matrix b so matrix b is the constant at the right hand side here 11 10 5 so we're going to copy that to the right hand side here so we have 11 10 5 all right so this is a matrix equation so the first matrix is a this is matrix x and this one is matrix b so we have the matrix equation a x equals to b all right so that is the first step okay second step is we need to find the inverse find the a inverse okay so we need to find a inverse because if you want to solve this equation this linear equation using inverse a x equals to b the formula is a inverse times b so we need to find a inverse so since we already know what is the matrix a so matrix a is matrix here which is uh, 3 1 2 3 2 2 1 0 1 right so this matrix a so we need to find a inverse to find the inverse of a we can use adjoint method to find the inverse okay so make sure you use adjoint method don't use ero because for ero we have another method to solve it which is a uh, gauss jordan that we are going to discuss later so to find inverse we're going using adjoint method okay so remember use adjoint method don't use ero all right so first to find inverse the first step is to find the determinant of a all right so we can use a third row which is 101 so that is 1 times uh, 1 2 2 2 okay and then minus 0 plus 1 times so we cover the third row and third column so we get a uh, 3 1 3 2 all right so we calculate this this become a 2 minus 4 0 they happen plus uh, this is 6 minus 3 so this is negative 2 
plus 3. So the determinant is 1. So determinant of A is 1. Alright, so we have the determinant of A. And then we're going to find the core factor matrix. Alright, so we can find the core factor matrix. I think you already know how to find the core factor matrix. Okay, so I will skip directly to the core factor matrix which is 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 1, negative 2, 0, 3. If you didn't remember how to find the core factor matrix, you can refer back to the on how to find inverse matrix for 3 by 3 matrix. Right, so this is core factor matrix. And then from the core factor matrix, we're going to find the adjoint of A. So adjoint of A is just the C transpose of the core factor matrix. Uh, we transpose it. So it's become 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 2, 1, 3. Alright, so this is the adjoint. So after we have the determinant and adjoint, so we already know. Uh, so we can find the inverse. So the formula for the inverse is 1 over determinant times the adjoint of matrix A. So the determinant is 1 and the adjoint is 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 2, 1, 3. And so the inverse, since this is 1, so the inverse for A is 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, and then negative 2, 1, 3. Okay, so now we have A inverse. Finish with the second step. Alright, so the third step is to multiply or to perform this equation, this formula. X is equals to A inverse times B. To find x, we know x is x, y, z, okay, is equals to inverse of a, which is 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 2, 1, 3, times b. So, b is 11, 10, 5, alright? And please be careful, don't multiply it uh, the other way around because student tend to do this mistake because student might write uh, B times A inverse times the inverse. This is wrong. So please be careful. Alright, so after that, we're going to multiply this. Okay, it's just multiplication for matrices. Right, so if we multiply first, we have 2 times 11, which is 22. And then uh, negative 1 times 10, which is negative 10. And then negative 2 times 5, which is negative 10. Right, so the second one is negative 11 plus 10 plus 0 and the third one is negative 22 plus 10 plus 15 and then we simplify this we get the first one is 2 the second one is negative 1 and the last one is 3 all right so we get x y z is equals to this matrix all right so that's mean because we want to solve the equation, that's mean we want to find the value of x, y, and z. So x is equals to 2, y is equals to negative 1, and z is equals to 3. So this is how we solve the equation using inverse matrix. Uh, we recap back the step. The first step is to form the matrix equation. Second step is to find the inverse using adjoint method. And the third step is to multiply the inverse with the matrix B. So we get the solution.